And I, I wonder what it must be like as a successful artist like yourself when people are constantly, or at least regularly, imposing their own expectations on you based on something you never put out there. Bro, I don't think Kanye West I've ever had, put I've out there that two... he was a social or moral advocate. I've had, right, drawing back to what, what you just said, I've had two instances yet. Yeah? Like, one of them was a bit ago, one of them was a couple of months ago, right? The one a couple of months ago, me and Lefty did a show in York, right? That's a whole story in itself. But the show we did in York, like, I went away and I was testing different different set lists and thinking, right, do I do all my recent stuff? Do I mix in a bit of the old stuff? Do I, right, how, how do I play this? So, and, and I got my set list to a point where I was happy with it. I'm like, right, excuse me. I'm like, right, that's my 2023 set list. So for the rest of the year, whatever shows I get, I'm probably going to do this set list. Let me test it out in York. So I went to York. Boom. Technical difficulties happened. So I could only perform, I'd say about half to quarter of my set. Because bear in mind, Whatever time I've got, I have to share with Lefty because we're booked as P-Soldier and Lefty. Lefty on P-Soldier. So whatever time we've got, I have to split with Lefty. But Lefty kind of took the back seat and thought, right, you're the one releasing at the minute. You've got shit out. Let's go. So he kind of let me do the majority of the set. And when I finished the set, Everybody was going mad, everybody was loving it. There was fucking people with gas and everything. When I finished the set, I come outside to get some air and I'm smoking a cig and I'm just chilling and that. One guy's come up to me and he's like, yeah, mate, you set with fire, but I preferred your old stuff. No, I preferred your old style, I'm not gonna lie. So I was like, what, what do you mean? And he was like, oh, I preferred like, you know, like, I've been cold since back in the day. I, I prefer the, the the old grimy shit. And I'm like, but bro, what you need to remember is like, I'm not that guy anymore, bro. Like, I've grown up. I've, I've, I, I couldn't, I said, now nah, watch face was that hard. Like, back in the day, I, my bars was that hard. The shit I used to say, like, I've run out, I'll be honest, I can't think of anything to top what I used to say back in the day and that's the reason why I don't fucking do it because I'm not that person, I'm not living that life so anything I say now, I'm either going to have to tell old stories or retell stories or fabricate a load of bullshit and I can't really do that for you because if that were the case, I'd be writing fucking scripts so I'm not that guy and then Another time, I did a show, right? Imagine this. I did a show, um, and, well, I, it wasn't my, it was Luna's show, and I was opening up for him. It wasn't when we was on tour, because when we was on tour, I opened up for Luna on all the tour dates, and then it just become like, like a thing. I was like, do you know what? I'm getting regular shows for this. So whenever he had a show, he'd always book me as a support which I appreciate like fuck because I was going all over doing regular shows, do you know what I mean? And even if he couldn't book me as his support, I'd still go with him and he'd let me come out on his set and do a couple of songs. You know, that's fucking perfect for me. I'm getting around, I'm getting to promote my shit. His fans are now fucking with me because they're seeing us visually together a lot, do you know what I mean? And then a lot of the time I might bring Lefty with me. So then when he's bringing me out to do a set, a, a song on his set, he's got songs with Lefty, so then they might do one of their songs together. So it, it was just rolling nice. So it was one of these particular times I was supporting him when I'm, I'm halfway through my set. I'm literally halfway through my set. And I'm performing like 
this is when I was going through the transition of like just coming out of now watch face and going into like doing more like going back to doing more trap music and that so I was just binge recording so I I probably had like 200 songs yeah so I'd just pick certain songs and just perform them on, on these sets that I were getting with Luna and whatever people were fucking with I'd, I'd make a note of and then I'm thinking right so when I start building a project I'm going to re-record this song I'm going to maybe take that verse because people went mental when I spent that verse and put it with this verse and, you know just and I remember I was performing some of the new shit and like there's a bit of the song where it goes like it, it goes quiet before the hook drops in yeah so I've spat my verse and then I've I've stopped I one guy me stood at the front and he's literally shouting B do I this spit of me fucking hell and bro Hardy Spitter was not even in my set list that night. I didn't even have it with me. And I was just like, ah, and I literally, I was that pissed off. I looked at him in the mic. I took my sunglasses off and I said, I'm not that fucking guy anymore. Yeah. And I was like, and that was when the full heel turn came I was like fuck this <laughs> I'm never performing these fucking songs again yeah you can all fuck yourself I ain't spitting no I ain't writing no more Grime 16s or no because you're ungrateful as fuck I've spent all this time driving this and, and writing this fucking shit painting these fucking pictures and you want me to talk about man I like P you're the hardest fucking spitter up north give me a fucking break bro that was fucking years ago so do you know what Nah, I'm I'm not I'm not doing it. And do you know what? I made a point to not do the fucking song. Even though I didn't have it, if I had it, I wouldn't have fucking done it. And then, you know, I just thought to myself, nah man, I'm not doing these fucking songs no more. And then my two instances where that like going back to your question like that I've I've felt that directly like, what the fuck? Like what, what is this guy doing? Why is he dressed different? Why ain't he got a fucking hoodie on? Why ain't he got his hood up? Where's the fresh Nike? I'm not that fucking guy anymore, bro. 